Gaffer, late, late win today. Caesars get all three points at home to Colchester. Were you beginning to be satisfied with a point, perhaps, or did you always have the belief that we could go and get all three? Well, I thought the way we played second half um, and the stats back it up, actually, that we kept on probing, kept on trying to pour forward and get bodies in the box and, and prize away uh, an opening um, to create a goal. And just thought we might just have one more chance when the, um, the minutes went up, only four minutes remaining. But... Um, no, we kept believing in the players to produce that one moment and it went in, doesn't matter if it's scruffy or not, it's Jack Muldoon, 92nd minute and uh, it's a winner. Like you say, we played far better the second half, do you think first off, we came up against a side who looked very well well coached, well drilled, no surprise, um, obviously new managers come in and they're unbeaten, was there any specific change at half time or were there any words to the lads you know, that you felt sort of impacted the performance after the break? Yeah, but, well to be honest, it wasn't too, we were too uh, scathing of the players at half time because this is League Two, you know. People watch videos. They, they, they try to try to stop us at source, and and they were doing a good job of it. And, and they turned up with energy and and performed well. Uh, and so credit to them. But I don't think it, you have to have a downer on our team always just because we're not coming in at two and three nil up. It's it's a good level, and we're up against experienced pros that have got League One, League Two pedigree. So yeah, you know, we, it wasn't that we didn't anticipate a tough battle first half. We've got to be patient, you know, and persevere. Um, and you can't always have that state of flow just just like that, you know. So we've got to keep going. And, and second half, it was more a case of um, sometimes, yeah, we have to go along to get the seconds and build it from there. And then once we've done that a few times, we we're able to get into a situation where we could play out from the back. And that happiness with the performance and the players in the second half was that illustrated? Obviously, Colchester made three or four substitutions. Are you happy with the? 11 that you had, was, was that sort of translating you were comfortable with the side and mm. how they were playing? Yeah, absolutely. Um, of course, we look look at the bench and uh, sometimes we think, oh, we could freshen it up with this, uh, with this substitution or that. Um, but it worked in the end, you know, um, keeping the same lads on because I thought everybody contributed to the end. Belief and confidence must be high in the squad at the moment. You know, we had a great run of results um, for recent weeks and recent months. Does that belief, that confidence, you know, that sort of translates into the ability for the side to get results, performances today, you know, late winners, taking three points where, you know, otherwise may have settled for one? I think so. I think belief in any sport is massive and you get some good uh, results and players back each other. You can see across the change room. Even at halftime, there's a bit of frustration. They haven't quite clicked into gear. But there was also an appreciation of, of the level and of who we're playing against. And, and they were a well-organised uh, outfit. Um, who came here to uh, grind out a point and possibly even more so um, we knew that we'd, we'd have to take our time but um, we said at half time it might be 89th minute I didn't say 92nd but um, it, you know we did leave it late but at the same time um, it doesn't really matter we've just got to make sure that no one suffers from um, you know feeling sorry for themselves or or signs of disappointment can't creep in you know we've just got to keep going and finally obviously all three points today Looking at the table, it's vital to get those three points with results elsewhere. Had a couple of difficult fixtures coming up, with Mansfield and Crew away from home next weekend. Well positioned for those two games now, are we? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think we're in a, re a really good position um, in the league um, because of the form since November. So um, we can go and put up a fight, you know, wherever we go, and it's not just a case of oh, no, how get town, go and have a go. You know, we, we've got uh, high expectations of ourselves and. Might not always turn into to wins, but you know, we're going to try and play a, a, a certain style and and um, you know and commit to it. You know, and uh, yeah, we're up against two really good football clubs, historically a lot, a lot bigger than us. Um, we've got to keep proving people wrong, and we're enjoying it at the moment. Fantastic, well done, Sir Gaffer. Cheers, thank you. Time.